Hey guys, Pete here with GIS Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add the navigation bar to your Leaflet web map so that you can navigate forwards and backwards in the views history as well as having a navigation to go back home. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. So if you bring up a web browser and type in Leaflet Navigation Bar you should come up with this GitHub page as one of the top results. I'll put the link in the description down below just in case. So if we go and click onto that, uh, we're going to download the code to add that navigation bar. And to do that, we go over here to the green button and we click the down arrow and click download zip. And of course, credit goes out to the person or the people who put this code together. Okay, so my downloads file, I'm just going to select onto that and right click, extract. In that extracted folder, what I'm going to do is make a copy of that. And I'll put that into my, my folder here that I have my HTML. Okay. So if I go and open my HTML up, this is just a very standard web map, and I'll put a link in the description down below on how, on a video I did not too long ago, on how to make a very simple web map such as this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is open up that folder. Navigation, okay. All right, so under it's actually just going to be these two right here. So we have the CSS and we have the JavaScript file. So let's go and add the CSS file. So what I'm going to do is just write down below the leaflet CSS. I'm going to type link relative equals style sheet and then href equals and then between the double quotes I'm simply just going to right click onto this CSS file and click copy relative path. In between that, I'll just paste and I'll close that off. And we'll do the same thing for the JavaScript. So we have script source equals, in between the double quotes, we're just going to grab this file right here. So I'm going to right click on top of it and click copy relative path and paste that in between the double quotes. And we'll close that off. Okay, so down in the body here, we will add, let me just go back to this page here. If we scroll down, there's some instructions down here. And we'll come back to this option here. But what we need to do is we can just copy this. If I kind of hover over this bar here, I get this little copy icon. I could click onto it and says copy, or I could just simply just select it, right click and copy. And we just paste that right here. The L control nav bar, and we're adding that to the map. So if I save that, and I run, and here's my navigation bar. So the navigation is starting right where in my HTML right here. So my set view, so this is the default, lat long and the zoom. So of course you would change that to match whatever your, you want your default to be. So if I'm the, the user, I'm kind of scrolling around a little bit, I could come over here and go back to my view history and it'll recall the navigations I made. Of course, you could go back and forth. And if you hit the home button here, of course you go right back to the default home that you set in the HTML. So it's pretty simple. Um, little tool, but yet very, very um, useful. Now, if we 
didn't like the way it was positioned right here, you know, of course we could move it over to the top right. And to do that, what we do is come back here in these options right here. So we have position. We also have the zoom and the centering, but if we just do the position, and right now it's defaulted to top left, and see we want that top right. So in between the parentheses there, right after nav bar, if we add our curly brackets, and I say position, and I say um, top right. And we can save that out and we'll refresh and now it's on the top right so you could play around with that but this is again just a very simple way to add that navigation bar to your leaflet web map um, hopefully this gets you get you going as always if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below or any suggestions on future videos uh, if you're new to this channel, I greatly appreciate if you subscribe so you don't miss out on these weekly videos that I do. Um, and always hit the like button. It's always appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.